Hello everybody here on Google Cloud here on our instance groups and um, I just create some virtual machines. Now we're gonna check on monitoring our stake driver. How to use a stake driver monitoring. That's where it loads. Takes a while. This is a place where I okay, have an instance template, I have an instance group, I have my virtual machines. Let's wait the monitor get okay, dismissed. Can I use it classic? Okay, I was only testing. Out. Opt out. Just switch and get my project TD or an all in. Okay, dismiss. What we do now, we're going to uptime checks. Uptime checks overview. Gonna add an uptime check. We'll call them A name, mine check. You gotta leave for TCP. Gonna put the URL. You're gonna get my EP address when I just check it here. My front end configuration. Gonna leave the port 88. It's gonna leave for a blank. Wait one minute, let's test. Takes a while, should be faster in my opinion. Anyway, save. Would we'll like to create a report, no thanks. Okay. So now we're going to alerting. Let's go to policy overview. We're going to create a policy. Create a policy. Add a condition. That's GVM instance, CPU utilization. CPU utilization. Type CPU utilization. I guess can be one. Okay, just reading that. The file is import VM. This one. No, I want the CPU utilization. Okay. You can check the condition. Okay. In this case, you're going to put 20 for a minute. There is hole is a ball, 20 for a minute. It's okay. Let's save it. I'm going to put alerting. Put my email. Gmail.com. Add a notification channel. Okay, and let's save it. Main policy. So just create um, policy. So now we're going to dashboards. I'm going to create a dashboard. Let's change the name. We're going to James Dashboard. Okay, let's add a chart. Mm, I can put like a um, sample type. Main chart, no, no wrapper. Gonna put this uh, CPU usage. And save it. On my dashboard, is there an aid? I'm going to add another chart. Fine. 
chart. We have put GVM instance. I'm gonna put like send bytes. And I'm going to save it. It's loading. Now we're going to create a test of virtual machine testing. I call it test virtual machine. I'm going to leave on Iowa. Everything okay. I load these other things. Um, it's fine. Let's create it. Actually, I could use all these ones here. They are in different networks, but I leave that for the default one. Then I'm going to check my, uh, you see there's another trailer track on my Zwang Jota. Okay, let's go to SSH and this test one. I'm going to make a Install Apache on this machine. Very easy. One thing if you use Google, you have to be very patient. I'm going to also add this one. Come on, yeah, test one. So let's update it right here too. Add this virtual machine here. We're going to install Apache. So this one, sudo apt-get install Apache U2s. So in this case, I'm going to try to stress my IP address. So in this case, my IP is this one. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to stress that. I'll install it. Okay, in this case, this is my IP. I'm going to take it out. I can leave. Can leave the port. First thing, my Apache bent. Okay, Apache bent. I can copy that because I'm just going to use all of this at the other machine. It's completing the requests. I'm going to put a little bit higher. Also, this one. Let's create an e drafting. You can go to your dashboard. Maybe things may change. Let's go into our instance group right now to see what's going on. Instance groups. Let's check this edit group, this group here. You can edit. And our CPU utilization again up to 20. Now we have to play with it. And can say auto scaling mode. Okay, auto scaling mode. Okay, auto scaling mode. I think we can do auto scale. No auto scale. This is nice. And let's leave for that work. It's still working. A lot of requests. Auto state driver. We're gonna add another charge. CPU. Utilization. GC. G B. It's G C E. CPU. Let's see another thing. Put this one here. Save. Let's see the utilization of our charts. Okay, here we already changed all of that. Let's do completing those requests. It's gonna end in fill. Here I can close this virtual machine. 
Okay. Can check on some more trying to see all those requests here. Let's run more requests. And remember that I put some alerts. <laughs> Stake driver alerts over here. This use our CPU utilization is already reaching. Let's put more. And also here, okay. Much more requests and leave it in. Let's check our instance, that group, sorry. Reduce to one, okay, one. Uh, you see we have two, we have four right now. We have maximum four, you can come, come in here. Maximum number of instances. So it, we have two in the beginning, so as the request, the buffer rises, so it already created two virtual machines. We have instance. Okay, so we have more virtual machines than expected. On the beginning, we have only two. Now we have four of it. On my dashboard, let's see if things are changing. I can put on. Uh, you can see on the fly, things changing. Gonna rise much more requests. That's my URL, it just answer uh, so that's how simple it is to work with stake driver. Check your, your CPU utilization. Check uh, your virtual machines. In this case, in the other case, also I could check Kubernetes. You can see here, like um, GKE containers. We are not running containers here. We're using virtual machines, compute engine. I can use it, app engine application. You can use also elastic container of Amazon. It's not our case today. Let's cancel. Don't need more charts. This is my chart, so you can delete it. Sorry, I did that wrong. Yeah, you can delete it. So you can create your dashboard on your own and add and remove charts on the fly. Thanks for watching, and this is the end of the lab.